Today we're going to make a Greek salmon dish that is simple, light, and quick to make. I prepare it at home often for Mary Jo and I. Salmon's a great source of lean protein, omega-3s, and other good fats. I will include the recipe in the description below, along with links to special ingredients and tools that I'm using in the video. Visit my website at chefmichaelsalmon.com for recipes, current posts, and my online shop. I'm Chef Michael Salmon. I've been working in professional kitchen since I was 15 years old. I would like to invite you into my kitchen as I prepare recipes from my two cookbooks and my European foodie trips to Italy, France, and Spain. So let's get into the kitchen. We're gonna start with the tzatziki sauce. Place one cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, into a bowl. And we're gonna start by grating a whole English cucumber on the coarse laid of the box grater. Place a strainer over a bowl and squeeze as much juice out of the cucumbers as you can. A good tzatziki sauce is thick and creamy and all that extra juice in the cucumber is just going to thin it out. I like to make my tzatziki sauce at, at least a couple of hours in advance, three to four hours in advance. The flavors from the garlic, dill, and lemon will melt into the sauce as it sits. So next we have garlic. We're going to mince a few cloves of garlic. I like to use the edge of the knife to mash it down and get it really fine so that the flavor really goes through the sauce. a microplane here and I'm going to use it to get as much of the lemon zest off as I can. Microplanes are great tools. If you don't have one of those in your kitchen, you definitely need one. We're going to squeeze the lemon juice into the bowl using a citrus press. Remove the leaves from the dill and with a sharp knife, mince the dill on the cutting board getting it nice and fine. Add some dried oregano and season with salt and black pepper. the cucumbers a little bit more to remove any excess liquid. Place the cucumber into the bowl. That's it. Give it a good stir. Mix it up well. And the tzatziki sauce is ready to go. Next we'll be making the feta salad. To cut a salad, take an English cucumber and dice it into a large dice. We want about a half inch dice for all of the ingredients, the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and the feta cheese. Place everything in a bowl. I'm using a bench knife here to move my product from the cutting board into the bowl. Take a tomato core and core the tomatoes. Just cut them in half and then half again. So into quarters, and then just cut each quarter into three pieces so you have nice big chunks. Cut the feta cheese into the similar size chunks. And add that to the bowl with the tomatoes and cucumbers. Kalamata olives go in next. And a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil some red wine vinegar, dried oregano, some of the Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. I have a link to that also on my website and in the description below. And some salt and black pepper. Toss that up. It's a 
great side for this salmon dish. Next, we're gonna trim up the salmon filet. This is some Atlantic salmon. You wanna remove any of the excess fat, cartilage, any bones that are remaining on it. And then we're gonna skin the salmon filet. Run your knife down the very edge of the tail with a slight sawing motion. Keep the blade flat and push the blade towards the front as you hold the skin and that will remove the flesh from the skin. Cut the salmon into individual portions. Next, we'll take the Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning and coat the fillets evenly. I've got a Traeger grill smoker that I love to use for this dish. I'm using cherry pellets, wood pellets, and I've set the temperature up to 350 degrees. Place the salmon on the grill, good side down. So that means the skin side is up. Your presentation side is always the first side that goes on the grill. After 10 minutes, turn the salmon and cook for another five minutes on the other side. Remove the salmon from the grill and it's time for plating. Place a spoonful of the feta salad on the plate. Next, top of the salmon and a dollop of the tzatziki sauce. I like to drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil on top and then finish with a little cracked black pepper and some dill sprigs. I hope you enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and are inspired to recreate it at home. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos. Check out my website at chefmichaelsalmon.com for recipes, my online store with links to my favorite tools and ingredients, and information on my two cookbooks.